This is the daily video update for Friday, January 14th, 2022. I'm going to take a couple minutes today just to update you on where we are as a congregation in this moment. Over the last week, the Lincoln Lancaster County Health Department reported just under 3,000 COVID-19 cases in the county. It's significantly higher than the peak last winter. Our hospitals here in Nebraska are at or nearing capacity. Nebraska Medical up in Omaha announced yesterday that they were implementing crisis standards of care for the first time during this pandemic. On Tuesday afternoon, the County Health Department here reaffirmed that we remain in the red in their risk dial um, and issued the following guidance. For at least three to four weeks, they're asking that we limit interactions outside the home by traveling only to work or school to buy food or get medical care or to get tested or vaccinated. They're asking that you get vaccinated or boosted now that you mask up indoors around other people from outside your household, that you avoid crowds and don't attend big events such as concerts and athletic events. If you do choose to take that risk, wear a mask while doing so. And get tested if you have COVID-19 symptoms, which can be similar to cold or flu symptoms. Get tested if you have been exposed to someone who has the virus. And if you are sick, stay home and away from others. Watch your distance and wash your hands. Now, for our congregation, what, uh, what we said in the daily update on Tuesday remains the case for the church. We are going to keep the building at 6300 physically open. And if it is important to your mental or emotional or spiritual health to participate in small groups or Sunday worship in person, we are going to keep that option available. And if you are able to participate remotely, this is a good time for that. We've spent a lot of time and effort to develop our streaming capacity for this reason, so that when we get a recommendation to stay home, we can do that without asking too much of each other. I know this is hard. And I also know that this is a resilient community. So whether you participate this Sunday and in the coming weeks, either in person or online, you are a part of the Unitarian Church of Lincoln as we weather this moment in history. And you better believe it is a moment in history that we are, we are living through right now. 20 years from now, in 2042, we will be telling the story of the prolonged pandemic in the early 20s and how the church deepened and grew in our relationships in response to it. For now though, one week at a time, one risk calculus at a time. If you are able to stay home, please do so. If you need to be in person for your own health, then, then do so as well. I'm not actually sure right now where I'm going to be on Sunday. Um, as you might be able to hear, I have a cold. Um, I've tested negative twice uh, for COVID at this point, but if the symptoms have not resolved on Sunday morning, then I'll be following that advice from the health department and participating uh, in the live stream along with many of you. So I will see you then, whether in person or on the live stream. Have a great weekend and stay safe.